Welcome to CSC 103. I'm going to review the stop sign exercise with you. This is number 12 for the spring 2018 semester. And I'm just going to show you a finished product. And I'm going to run this one in Trinket. And there's the stop sign shape. You can see it makes an eight sided polygon. These are actually 45 degree angles. And you could figure that out by knowing that there's eight sides and then taking 360 degrees divided by eight will give you that 45 degrees. And when the turtle goes around, it's gonna fill the polygon. It's gonna stop here and kind of face the stop sign. So it's gonna be in the middle of the stop sign. So whatever size this is for his sides going around, it's gonna be half of that. And he's gonna be down a little bit from the Y because he starts here. This is the original X, Y. So he's gonna be halfway over for the X and he's gonna be down about 25 pixels. So that's where the turtle's gonna end up. And then the last thing, another turtle is gonna draw this word stop and uses a write method to be able to do that. Let me run it just one more time. So the stop sign gets drawn first, then another turtle comes up and does the stop and then kind of disappears. So we're gonna have the turtle disappear at the end or have him just move down because he's gonna be white. So whatever we decide to do with that, there's different ways to do that. So I'm gonna start this from scratch. So after you log into Trinket, you can create a new Trinket and we're just gonna use the one that's the regular Python and make sure you change the name here. We'll call it 12 stop sign. And I'm just gonna put a V after it since I'm recording a video. And I'll start off here and I'll make sure I save it first. And I'll just put in, and I'll make my text a little bigger here. And I'll put my import turtle just to import the turtle module. And I'll hit two spaces or hit return twice. And then I'll instantiate my turtle and we'll do Tina equals and then we'll just do turtle dot turtle using the turtle class and remember this gets a capital T and it should look like that so that's creating Tina and properties of Tina we're gonna make her red so we could do Tina dot color and in parentheses we could just put red but it, remember it does need quotes around it it is a string I'll make sure I have Tina spelled right and then we'll also make her a turtle shape so she looks like a turtle Otherwise, she just look like kind of an arrow. So that's what we'll start off with Tina. So she'll be a red turtle. And if we run it right now, we'll just see a red turtle. And what we're gonna do is have her move about 50 pixels, and then she's gonna turn on an angle and do that a number of times. And we're gonna do a for loop to make that happen eight times so we don't have to keep repeating code each time. So I'm gonna hit a return here. And what I'm gonna have her do is I'm gonna say Tina.forward and we'll give her a distance of like 50 to start. And then I'll see Tina dot left. And then she's gonna be, she's gonna turn a particular angle and we're gonna use 45 because if we take eight sides is what we're gonna do to make a stop sign. There's eight sides. So we're gonna take 360 divided by eight and that'll give us our 45 degree angle. So we're gonna put in 45 here for our angle. And if we run this, that's what's gonna happen. That starts the stop sign right there except we want this to happen eight times. That's one time. We want it to happen seven more times. So instead of copying and pasting this seven more times, we're gonna do something called a for loop. And the way we could do this is just type four and use I, it's called an iterator. And we're gonna say in range. And then the range, we could put a number and I'll put eight because it's gonna be eight sides. I'll put a colon here. And then we also have to indent this. So I'm just gonna hit the tab key to move it over. And that indicates that these statements are going to be part of that loop. Instead of using a curly bracket or anything that indicates that it's inside here, we're going to use indents. So let's just try this out, see what happens. And it works. There's our stop sign. So that's pretty easy. And we just have to fill it. Now keep in mind, some things we're going to be doing, like filling and moving the turtle, will not be part of this loop. That won't happen eight times. Only this will happen eight times. So even before this loop happens, or even after the loop, I guess before, we're going to do a Tina dot begin fill so that it's filled with a solid color. We want it filled solid with red. So we're gonna put that before and notice that is not indented. Only these two are indented and then anything after this will not be indented either. The for loop itself is out at the margin here but these are indented. So we're gonna begin fill and then after the turtle is drawn or after the stop sign is drawn, we're gonna go back out and we're gonna do a Tina dot end fill. And we'll save that and run it. And that's what we want, except we want this turtle moved down a little bit and turned. So the turtle's gonna have to turn 90 degrees so it's facing straight up. 
and then also it's going to be moved down so we're going to use a go to and we also have to use a pen up because we're going to get a line there so a couple things we'll do here so first we'll just move the turtle down and see what happens so we'll do tina dot go to and we'll just put an x and y coordinate for x we're going to do halfway over so since we used 50 here we're going to go halfway over for the x so it's right on this line here so we're going to do 25 for the x x always comes first and then for the y we're going to go down like 25 so we'll go minus 25 so we'll run that, and that's where we want the turtle, except we want the turtle turned, and we don't want this line here. That's from the pen of the turtle that's there by default, so we want to remove that even before the go to. So we're going to do a tina.pen down so we don't see that pen mark when she goes to that position. Right after she goes to that position, we'll turn her. So we'll do tina.left, and we'll do 90 degrees. Okay, we still have the we still have that line showing Tina dot pen down. Oh, pen up. I'm sorry. I messed that up. That should be pen up. It should lift up the pen, not put it down. I was thinking of putting the pen down, but actually it's lifting the pen up from the turtle's tail. So let's run that and that should be a pen up. And that's the way it should look. So that's the first part. And I'll save that. And the second part is a little more challenging, not really challenging, but there's just a little bit more code. We're going to create another turtle that's basically going to write the word stop. So let's instantiate a second turtle called Todd. And we'll do Todd equals turtle.turtle. .turtle. And that's the turtle class. And Todd will be white, so we're going to do Todd.color. And it's going to be white. And then make sure this has quotes around it. You could actually highlight this and hit the quote sign. So Todd's going to be white. And then what Todd's going to do is we're going to do a go to Todd.go to. Now we don't know where Todd's going yet, um, but we'll just kind of figure Todd's going to be writing the word stop. So Todd's going to have to go up. So let's just say maybe he's going up 30 and he's probably going to have to go over. If this is if this is the zero zero, it might be over like negative 30 or something like that. So we'll start with that and then we'll just kind of do a little trial and error. So we'll put Todd at, at 30, negative 30, and then we'll do the Todd.write. And in parentheses, this whole thing is in parentheses, and the first thing Todd is going to write is going to be stop. So we're going to put stop in quotes, and we're going to do a comma, and we're going to do font equals, and then also in parentheses, all the font properties are going to be in parentheses in a separate pair of parentheses, and we're going to say we're going to do impact. That's a kind of a standard font. You could use because it's condensed and it's it's very heavy. And we're going to do impact and then we're going to do a comma. And we're also going to put a size in there. You could also put a style in there, but I'm going to put a size. I'm going to put 40 for now because I'm not sure, but I think that's about what we kind of worked with and we'll kind of like I said, use trial by error and see how it works out. So I'm going to start with that, and then we're eventually, after this is done, we're going to hide Todd. So we could do this. We could just do Todd.hideTurtle. Or we could make him go away and be and, and be white somewhere where you don't see him. But we, we, we know we have this hide turtle property, so we'll just use that at the end of after he's done writing. So let's save this and try it out. And I can see him way off with my Todd go to. He's way over there. He's at 30. And actually, he should be at negative 30. I have these backwards. This, this should be negative 30. And this should probably be 30 up. So let's try that out. That's why we're doing the trial and error. And I'll test this out again. I'll save it. I'll run it. That's a little better, and I think it needs to go up a little bit more. Size is probably okay as far as what I have right now. So I need to move it up a little bit more. So right now it's going up 30. I'll try going up maybe 36 and see how that works. It looks pretty centered. And again, you, depending what you use, you might have to kind of change this a little bit more. So let me run it again. And I also see there's a little pen mark there, so I have to do a pen, pen up for Todd as well. So once he once he actually you want to do that so he because he's going somewhere because he's doing a go-to you want to put the pen up before he goes there 
So I'm going to put the pen up here. I'm going to do Todd dot pen up, and there's pen up, and that's all I need. And we're going to go, I guess, just a little bit, maybe. I'll try 37, although I think it looks pretty good. And I'm going to run it. And that looks pretty good. We could maybe even make the size a little bit bigger. I'll just go up one point size right now. And I'll run it and and that looks pretty good. And the last thing we're going to do is create two functions out of our code that we have here. And we already know how to do that and that'll be pretty easy. And what I'll do is I'll come over here, I'll just get rid of this extra space here and I'll define a function and I'll just say def and I'll call this one draw sign. I'll make sure to put my parentheses and a colon and I'll hit return or enter. And I'll make sure that I highlight all of these and I hit my tab key to indent them over to indicate so they're part of the function. So again, this is my function definition. And while I'm at it, I'll just do the same thing down here. I'll say def, I'll call this right sign, since we're putting the words on there. Same thing, parentheses, colon. This is yellow here. These are yellow because this instance was actually created inside the function definition, but now they're not, so it's not recognizing it. So we gotta make sure that we keep Todd inside the function definition. So I'm just gonna highlight all of these and hit tab. And now we have two function definitions, but nothing will happen right now if we hit run because we have to call them. And I'm just gonna put extra space there. Make sure you backspace so you get them back to the margin. And we're just gonna have one called draw sign. And you could even just start typing the name and it'll come up. And you just have to remember to put the parentheses. And the second one will just be right sign. And there it is. And make sure you put the parentheses. And all you should have to do just to make sure it works is just hit run. And there it is. Same thing. It's just now we're kind of being a little more organized by creating a function definition here, a function definition here. And then we're calling the two functions down here. So that's all you have to do as far as that goes for your exercise. And when you're done, you're just gonna save this and you're gonna share it and you're gonna go to the link. You're gonna copy the link, Control C or Command C. And then you'll go back here to your coursework and you'll find that particular exercise. Here's the 12 turtle stop sign. And you would go in here and where you see add comment, you'd click on add comment. You'd click on the hyperlink or insert link You'd paste the URL here, control V or command V, and it gets pasted in two areas, which is fine. You don't have to change the text to display. Make sure it's new window, hit okay. You could even highlight this, make it a little bit bigger, like 12 point is nice. And that's all you have to do. Then I'll see that when I see your coursework, I'll see that there's a comment there and then I could just click on it and I could see your turtle once it's done.